This really is a paradise for birds, and the variety of bowers it has allowed one family to build is more than matched by the variety of plumes evolved by the other. One group of female birds of paradise, for example, fancied glossy throats, and this is the result, the splendid astrapia. Tails, clearly, didn't impress them to anything like the same degree. But the splendid astrapia has a close cousin, Shaw Mayer's astrapia, and those females had different tastes. They were hot for tails. There's no wonder that the result of their selections over many generations is also called the ribbon-tailed bird of paradise. The female has to sit on a nest and a long tail would get in the way, but because of her and her forebear's decisions about what makes a male attractive, he now has the longest tail in proportion to his body of any bird in the world. <laughs>